What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Anthony's Takes. We're gonna take a look at another movie trailer. It's uh, Borg vs. McEnroe. Looks like a uh, movie with Shia LaBeouf. And he's, is he playing a young John McEnroe? Uh, let's, it's gonna be a true story. Let's take a look at this. It's the perfect rivalry. The baseline pair and the net rusher. Tennis in winter idrot of central runner quick disarmament. Mr. Borg, how does it feel knowing you could make history if you win your fifth quarter? No special feelings. Just funny. The only thing standing between Borg and that record is you. You and Borg are as different as two people could possibly be. Is he backstage or something? Is he gonna like jump out of the caves? McEnroe is the bigger talent, but playing Borg is like being hit by a sledgehammer. I'm Andrew Matanis. The best. Best dessert. Invite How do you respond to McEnroe's comment from before the tournament? The the machine will soon break down. I'm just like uh, anybody else. I'm not a machine. Things in a death that much. The folk break a through there. Any shit in Bjorn. Do you share that Bjorn? It's not easy for anyone to play. Question, Dirk Up, answer the question! The ball is on the line! Chuck's on the line! You don't understand what the fuck it takes to play tennis. Shut up! But people you know I go out there and I give everything for this game? Everything. Everything in me gets left out on that fucking court. And none of you understand it because none of you do it! really uh into tennis that much i've never sat down and watched an entire match I'll, I'll watch highlights of it on sports center or something like that but when it comes to actually going to an event or watching it like beginning to end yeah, it, it just that i can watch golf i can watch golf you know live um but just not you know sitting down i mean I just get go with the major sports, football, basketball, baseball, golf, uh, you know. I'll watch the Olympics, um, just, you know, even for the sports that are not really, like, you know, mainstream, uh, but for the Olympics, I'll watch it, but, you know, but just, you know, I'll go watch this movie just for the, for the drama that's in it, and, uh, you know, and it looks like, damn, Shia LaBeouf, you, fuck. I'll call it and say that he gets his first Oscar. Maybe, possibly. He looks like he's go that's what he's going after with this movie. He's trying to get himself an Oscar nomination. Uh, yeah, shit. Um, he looks like he's making a comeback. He almost ruined his damn career with uh, drugs and all that. So, hey. Come a long way since Transformer movies that he uh, um, so openly hates nowadays. You know, that's what boosted his superstardom. But then, you know, uh, I remember hearing or seeing recently where the you know he's just so ashamed of those Transformer movies for some reason. So they were they were kind of bad, you know, if you think about it. But. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Did you enjoy my video? Hit the like button, subscribe, and share if you did not.